Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. You join me in my living room in the south of France and we're going to do a video today talking about a supercar collection or someone that you may recognize. But first of all, I just want to say, hope you're all uh, in good health, you're staying safe. I am stuck at home like most people around the world and I just have a special thought going out to you guys. I'm also going to try and do this video not too slowly because I've got a fire burning behind me and my back's going to roast by the end of this. Today we're talking about Kylie Jenner and her car collection. She has a massive car collection and is a huge car fan. Now we've already done this on my French channel about Cristiano Ronaldo and it went down quite well. So when we were searching for ideas for the English channel, what to do at home, we decided to film a video on car collections and why not film on one of the queen of supercar collections, Kylie Jenner. Kylie's a 22-year-old car fan. She actually goes to a bunch of cars and coffee events. Now, there's someone within the community that you guys know, Sam, seen through glass, who was a massive fan of hers and actually met her at a cars and coffee. And this is how that went for him. Hi, I'm Sam. Do you mind if we get a picture of <laughs> yeah, I, that is like the highlight of my life, that clip. Kylie goes to these cars and coffee events, but she could kind of host her own cars and coffee because she has so, so many cars. Uh, it's so hard to know where to start. And she actually has different models several times over. So for example, let's start with G-Wagons. Kylie's had a G63, the old pre-facelift version of the G63, and she's wrapped that in several different colors. She used to drive that around a ton. It was, I believe, her first car when she turned 18 years old. She's now 22, and when she hit 21 years old, she actually became the youngest self-made billionaire in the world. So she can definitely afford having quite a few cars. So that means she doesn't only have one G63, she has the old version of the C63, she has the facelift version of the G63, and she has the 4x4 squared, heightened, slightly more hardcore, and just massive version of the G63. So three G-Wagons, to our knowledge, in her collection. I mean, she may have the new one twice or the old one twice, but in terms of models, she's basically got all of them. She's then done similar with Range Rovers, with a particular affinity for Range Rover sports. She actually had one where she wrapped interior little accents and the exterior all in white carbon fiber. Now she's had many Range Rovers. She's had the Vogue, she's had the Sport, and she's just had them in loads of different colors. And these are cars that she actually usually lends to her friends quite a bit, which is pretty nice. I wouldn't mind having a Range Rover Vogue lent to me by Kylie Jenner. Apparently one of the G-Wagons was actually a breakup gift from Tiger. I mean, what do you mean a breakup gift? That's a thing? You give breakup gifts now? It's pretty classy. I'm so sorry to be breaking up with you. Have yourself a Range Rover. Kylie Jenner is now with Travis Scott, who has actually gifted her quite a few cars. I think she's, I think they're still together. It's hard to keep track. They've got a kid together. But before that, she was with Tiger, who, before he gave her a breakup gift, actually, by the way, I don't know why I'm using this finger to point. I've got an injured finger and we were just making the fire, fire so it's a little bit gross. But Tiger, for Kylie's 19th birthday, actually gave her a Mercedes S600 Maybach, which is a very nice birthday gift. Lovely, lovely car. Around two hundred thousand dollars new. It's a stunner. Happy birthday! Stop! Happy birthday to you. So, keeping with the theme of having several, she's had several G wagons, around one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand, or even with the specs she's got on the G four x four square, two hundred fifty thousand each. The Range Rovers, let's say one hundred fifty thousand a pop. Now we're moving on to Rolls Royce. Kylie's got a lot of Rolls Royces. She's got a Wraith. She's had, I think, two Ghosts, the Dawn. She's got a Cullinan, and those are running you at least three hundred thousand each. So yeah, a lot of Rolls Royces. Again have been wrapped, have changed colors, changed models, um, but clearly a big fan of her Rolls Royces. Now the Ghost is the four-door version of the Wraith, so she's got the coupe version, she's got the four-door version, and she does also have the latest 4x4 Cullinan, which has a massive twin turbo V12, all of the Rolls Royces do. And the Cullinan, for example, would probably set you back around 400 to 500 thousand dollars depending on the spec. Modern Rolls Royces weren't enough for Kylie though. She went and bought a classic Rolls Royce Phantom, a beautiful white spec. This guy is just so classy and alongside her new more modern Rolls just goes really really nicely with the collection of cars. Now you can see what I mean now when I say she's got a lot of cars. I think we've already spoken about more than 10 cars and we've only just gotten started. I'm gonna try and list the colors of Kylie's Rolls Royces. It's quite a few. Taupe, blue, black, maroon, red, white. I mean, I can't even keep track of the colors she's got on her Rolls Royces. Now we can talk about Ferraris, because she's had a few of those as well, and she's actually modified them a little bit. So all's, all got kicked off with a 458 Spider, 
had that car, wrapped it several different colors, including a really nice gray. It also then had a set of aftermarket red rims on at one point. And she's then also upgraded from there, got in a 488 GTB Coupe, 488 Spider, and then more recently, she actually got the big daddy, the Ferrari LaFerrari, which apparently was a gift from Travis Scott, but there are also rumors that she gifted Travis Scott his LaFerrari as well, because he has a red one. So pretty good couple goals right there, both having a LaFerrari, obviously limited to 499 in the world, just under a thousand horsepower, the latest hypercar from Ferrari. These things will set you back on the secondhand market, which is probably where they got them, around four to five million dollars each. Kylie's is finished completely blacked out with a red seat interior, it is an absolutely stunning spec and actually more rare than the standard red with a black roof. So awesome taste and that's kind of the ultimate car you can have as a petrol head, especially someone that's a fan of the Italian brand. So to our knowledge, Kylie has four Ferraris, including the most special of them all. Kylie doesn't stop there when it comes to Italian supercar brand. She's also got a Lamborghini. Now to our knowledge, this is one of the few brands that she only actually has one car for. And she has a Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster, finished in orange, which actually is a matching spec to her G4x4 squared. These are limited to 650 worldwide and is a 750 horsepower, naturally aspirated V12 Lamborghini mid-engined, four-wheel drive, absolute beast with a single clutch gearbox. It is just stunning. In the orange color so she went for the roadster version to drive around california and it just goes beautifully with her 4x4 squared and there's again quite a, a connoisseur car which holds holds its value pretty well and shows that kylie knows what she's doing when it comes to buying these cars and she also is obviously well known for getting them all in pretty bright specs which is very cool to see back to luxury cars kylie's actually got a bentley bentega as well to cruise around in so when we're talking 4x4s she's got a few g-wagons a few range rovers the rolls royce cullinan and a bentley bentega so she's pretty much got all of the cars to my knowledge, she does not have a Lamborghini Urus yet. She may do. Hard to keep track of all the cars, which are either hers or friends. Travis has been known to have a Lamborghini Urus. But uh, yeah, so she's also added to her collection a Bentley Bentayga. But the masterpiece of her collection is her Bugatti Chiron. Absolutely beautiful car. Lots of different colors. We've got black, white, and orange spec on this car. Over $3 million, 1,500 horsepower. They're going to be 500 made worldwide. It is an absolute stunner and is the masterpiece of the collection alongside the LaFerrari. Now, Kylie actually picked that up not too, too long ago and has been seen driving around in it, but it is for any car collector, it is kind of the most prestigious car. And out there in LA, there are quite a few. It's one of the states with the highest ratio of Bugatti Chirons or Veyrons. To our knowledge, she has not purchased a Veyron yet and purchased this Chiron actually secondhand and did not order it from the factory. But it is an absolutely awesome looking car and completes Kylie's pretty insane car collection for someone who's especially only 22 years old. That's a wrap on Kylie Jenner's car collection. Please let us know down below if one, you enjoy this type of video, but two, also, which is your favorite car? If you could only have one of Kylie's cars, she'll give you the keys right now in a car that you could keep for the rest of your life. Which one would you go for? Personally, I would take the blacked out Ferrari LaFerrari. I think there's an absolutely stunning car and not only just a cool car, I think she's just got it in a really, really cool spec. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoy these videos and also please let us know down below anyone else that you would like to see us talk about in this new series of videos that we're going to be doing while we're confined in the living room here. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe as always. We'll be seeing you again very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.